Aries singles, welcome to your personal reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Please know that these messages can go either way. Please check your moon and rising signs in case this does not resonate. Overall energy for the reading, four pentacles in reverse. So it looks like someone's going to come out and say something, some, something that someone has been holding back for quite some time. Or uh, some someone could have been hoarding some some money, some feelings, some secrets, and everything comes out. But we'll see how this plays out. Let's get right into the reading. All right. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, I'm also seeing Capricorn as well. And it looks like there's some type of forward movement or moving forward. Some of you can be literally moving a um, house, you know. It looks like someone that you were dealing with or are currently dealing with um, has some options. Or maybe you've been exploring your options. Um, but someone in the situation that maybe you dealt with in the past felt taken for granted. And it felt like they had to stand their ground. This is either you or, or your partner that's feeling this way or you, someone that you've dealt with in the past, possibly. Um, felt like they had to stand their ground. Uh, felt very defensive in the situation for some reason or another. And I feel like this was directly related to some type of three-party situation because I've got the devil here. Um, and it looks like someone, you may have made an exit recently out of a three-party situation. You recently got out of whatever toxic situation there was. Um, there could have even been addictions that were going on in the situation. Someone could have been very possessive um, as well. It looks like there were trust issues in this relationship. And um, now you don't quite know where you stand with this partner. You felt like you were going in circles and there was some type of turn down offer in the past, but your intuition is kind of cluing you in and telling you that there's a possibility that this person may be coming back or may be trying to contact you. This could have been someone, or this is someone that you obviously severed ties with in the past, and you could still be having some type of scornful feelings toward this person. You could be feeling cynical um, and emotionally detached. You know, but you've gained some wisdom and now you, you realize that you have to put your emotions aside in order to get to the truth. Because, you know, emotions can kind of cloud your decision making. So um, I'm feeling like you felt overall disappointed in this relationship that you were in in the past. Or this person felt this way towards you. Could be the mother or father of your children. And I'm feeling like it was a, definitely a three-party situation and where someone decided to sever the ties and walk away. Um, but someone is not quite ready to turn their back on the situation and they're hoping to be able to move forward in this situation or even move, you know, move, change locations is what I'm kind of getting to. This person could have felt betrayed and still is, is healing from this betrayal. This person is healing from whatever repeated actions that happened in the past. This could have been a blow to your self-worth or your partner could have felt this way. Either one of you felt like maybe there was um, an issue that happened that kind of tested your self-worth and you're kind of recovering from that. There's a feeling of grief that happened in this relationship because there was so much pain and hurt feelings. But it looks like one of you gained wisdom and you're ready to, you're ready for expansion. You're ready to move forward and see what you can do to grow this situation and and make it the best that it can be. And in the past, you were dealing with someone who um, was a bit deceptive and how, you know, they gave you the, the wrong um, impression of their real feelings. They weren't being honest with you in the past. And there could have been a lot of arguing going on. Um, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, or someone who doesn't know when to stop in an argument. They just keep going and going. And um, the two of you could have felt like you were butting heads a lot in this relationship. And that was a lot of deception that was going on. Someone got caught in the act of doing something deceptive. Someone was moving rather covert in the situation. And um, this led to a lot of sleepless nights. Um, staying up, ruminate, having ruminating thoughts of over the situation. Um, yeah, you were dealing with someone who was deceptive. This situation became emotionally off balance. 
This person is hoping to restore things with you. But again, this person is a bit leery because they don't know where they stand with you. Um, but they don't want to take a break from the relationship. Or there is a break that is occurring right now. There were turned down offers in the past. Which is again why this person is about leery, is a bit leery to approach you. But this person is hoping for a reunion between the two of you. Hoping that um, the two of you can come back together and um, maybe piece things back together. So you've got some truthful communication coming your way. Or one of you could have even seen the other as being immature. So there is an offer or some type of an apology coming your way. And it looks like someone really is in a hurry to express themselves. Or this could have been um, you or someone in your situation that didn't really stick around for very long. You know, it's kind of on again, off again some type of vibe. But this person is now ready to take a leap of faith with you and to start over and to see what um, can be recovered in the situation. A final decision has been made where there wasn't one made in the past. You could be dealing with a Virgo or someone has gone within to, to um, get answers. Or some of you could have um, separated yourself, isolated yourself from this situation to go within to get answers. Or you could have just withdrawn even from this third party situation because you felt that it was toxic and you wanted to do some soul searching. You felt it was time to do that. Some of you felt like you wasted your time in this three-party situation because it didn't really end the way that you were hoping that it would be, would end rather. Some of you are rather ready to come out of conflict and it looks like there's some issues in this relationship that are being avoided, that aren't quite being addressed or in the past rather in this relationship. Something was being avoided because you were going around in circles. It was like something was not able to be resolved. Someone was kind of telling half-truths or kind of skirting around the issue and not being honest. Um, one of you can view your partner as being selfish. You, you could have been dealing with a, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo as well. King of Pentacles in reverse, someone who's selfish, someone who has self-seeking motives. Yep, someone is coming back for a second chance or hoping for a second chance. Because it looks like someone has finally made a decision about who they want to be with. So this could be either you, Aries, or um, someone that you were dealing with in the past. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio as well, sun, moon, and rising. But I'm seeing that things came to an end or things changed and transformed. The lines of communication will be reopened between the two of you. And the two of you will be able to have communication about what it is that you want to do. There may even be plans that are being laid out for this person to move or for there to be forward movement and expansion in this relationship. Someone's ready to take action, it looks like. And whoever walked away is now coming back. You could be dealing with an Aries, another Aries as well. I'm also seeing Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, but a head over heart decision has definitely been made in this situation, a final decision. And someone is now ready to work on this situation where they were not ready to do so in the past. They were either not ready or willing to do so in the past. Um, let's see. What is this Ten of Swords about, please, Holy Spirit? What is this Ten of Swords about? Okay, so it looks like... You feel a soulmate connection with this person, is what I'm seeing. So maybe you got out of a karmic relationship and you realize that um, you can, finally came to the realization that this is the person that you want to be with. And you felt you feel a strong pull towards this person as if you have a soulmate connection. I was feeling this before, but some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus. Um or you could have been dealing with someone who was just non-committal in the past. You know, um, okay, so someone's coming back for you or you're going back to them. So 
I will pull an advice card now for Aries couples. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have, please, for the Aries couples? I'm sorry. Let me say that again. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the Aries singles from now until next week? Aries singles from now until next week. Okay, there's two cards that popped out. I'm going to show them to you. First one is If You Believe. Okay, and the other one is You're Ready. So let me go ahead and pull your messages for you. Okay, it says If You Believe. What you need right now is faith. You can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook. The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in ourself in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams. Amen. I believe in that. Law of attraction is powerful. And you're ready. All your past experiences have led you to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There's nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxious, anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. All right, Aries singles, this is good news. So it looks like you're ready. And go ahead and think positively and speak positively into the situation. You reap what it is you sow. So if you speak negativity, then that's what will return to you. I'm saying a lot of you are getting through the situation with prayer. You're seeking um, guidance um, from this situation through prayer. So um, Aries singles, this concludes your weekly reading. I want to thank all of you who return to my channel weekly. Please know that you are appreciated and so is your loyalty. And for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I offer you a warm welcome. And um, I thank you for tuning in this week. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, I have gotten my wait, down, my wait time down. Um, so it looks like um, I'll be able to get them out quicker than I was in the past. Um, I'd also like to say, okay, so if you'd like to book a reading, you can contact me at my website, angelicascensionstarot.com or angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. I wish you all the absolute best airy singles, and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.